lifestyle medicine, a relatively new specialty in medicine. It's defined by the American College of Lifestyle Medicine as the therapeutic use of lifestyle in the treatment of chronic lifestyle related diseases. So in particular we're talking about food being prescribed as medicine, exercise and activity, stress management being prescribed to our patients as therapeutic tools. This fits beautifully with the tenets of osteopathic medicine, our philosophy of treating patients, because it does recognize the unity of the body, the, whole, the holistic approach to health care. The AMA has recognized this in 2012. They said lifestyle medicine intervention should be the first and primary mode of preventing and when appropriate treating chronic disease. The Adventist Health Study is another uh, good illustration of the power of food in particular. When you look at the effects of a plant-based diet in preventing um, many of these chronic lifestyle diseases, when you look at in this slide in particular their study, you have people on this end in the in the small green bar that are eating a predominantly plant-based diet versus those eating a more mixed diet but still not as bad as our standard American diet because of the general restrictions that are encouraged um, by the Adventists. But you can see the difference less than 2 percent of the patient population has diabetes eating that plant-based diet but about 8 percent eating the standard diet. The same is true of hypertension. Almost 25 percent eating their standard diet, less than 10 percent eating a plant-based diet. This study focuses on the CHIP program, the Complete Health Improvement Program. The CHIP program is one of the most widely researched program, has over 70,000 participants in growing and more than 30 publications where they show incredible improvement in um, many of the chronic lifestyle diseases. For example, half of the people on insulin get off of it. We also wondered about people who lived in poverty who couldn't afford to go to CHIP. Would they benefit if they had financial assistance? They all did equally well if they uh, completed the program. So it wasn't a factor of finances or socioeconomic status is more a factor of desire to make the changes to find those results. There was a study at Vanderbilt University of the CHIP program among their beneficiaries uh, who had diabetes and they were found to have a pretty significant influence on their health and their savings uh, from their health care spending. So we began a similar study at Ohio University uh, which we're reporting on our early findings based on the biomarkers. We hope to soon have our data from our HR department to actually look at the cost savings to the university by its, in its health care plan as well as the absentee levels of the participants of the CHIP program. So lifestyle medicine is an excellent cost-effective way that we can help our patients find the health they desire.